Hi everyone, Chrissy here with a different kind of video today. I want to talk to you about love. Yes, love, the love languages. There are five of these. If you're not familiar with Gary Chapman's bestseller, the five love languages, these are the way that we as individuals love, and that's both um, giving love and receiving love. So it's how you prefer that, you know, you exchange love with uh, your loved ones, your spouse, your partner, your children, your friends, your family, anyone that you are in a relationship with. So if you're not familiar, there are five of them, and they are words of affirmation, quality time, acts of service, gifts, and physical touch. So you might be a combination of them. You might have one dominant one. I can post the link in comments below if you're interested in what yours are. Um, but I wanted to speak to you because as I've been thinking about these love languages, I've realized that Unique as a company speaks all five on a daily basis. And it is just super interesting and cool and amazingly amazing that they can speak all five love languages. So I've taken some notes and I wanted to share these with you one at a time. So the first one is words of affirmation. And this is a big one for me. It's one of my dominant ones. And I think the reason that words are so important to me is that I've always loved words. Um, I don't know if it's being a teacher or just that I love to write. I love to read. I just know the power that words have. I have seen words, and I'm sure you have too if you work with children or if you've you know, had an argument with someone, word choice, how words can totally change the path of a conversation or an argument or something, right? Word choice is huge. And the more positive words that we're using, the better, right? When we can choose powerful, empowering words, that's only going to help the recipient, right? And in turn, help you. <laughs> Um, so I see it with kids, my students, the more positive we give them, the more positive we get back. That's just a no brainer when it comes to human nature. We need more positive. We need more positive in every way. So we have this amazing company. I've been with this company a little over a year and I see it on a daily basis with the women that I'm working with. And, um, the women on these teams are, so incredibly positive with one another. It's not the cattiness or comparisons or competitiveness that we see oftentimes in the world. Um, this world is so fast paced, it's so constantly changing. We see a lot of that um, negativity you know, filter in, but not with this company. There's no room for it. When you only have positive, um, a sisterhood of positive women, who feel that positivity. There's no room for anything else. They feel that and they wanna share that. So me speaking personally, I feel it. The moment I joined this company, I was uplifted by this family of sisters, like instant family. And it sounds so cliche or cheesy, but you have to feel it to know what I mean. And you feel it right away. And it's this a group of women that want the best for themselves, for their families, for each other. They want a better future, they want to help others. And as women, gosh, that's what we do. A lot of us just, that's what we love to do. The women I know are nurturing, are helpful, are loving, are kind, and they they radiate that. So I'm, I'm really lucky to have these women in my life. Um, and that's what I wanna share. It's hard to keep that to yourself, right? But then I look at it and I and I also see other women that I think, gosh, they would really need they really need something like this. This is for every walk of life. And um, as women, oftentimes we're filling everyone else's cup before our own, right? And that really takes a toll on us over time. Those days turn into weeks, turn into months, turn into years, and we're depleted. You know, who's filling our cup if we're not filling it ourselves, right? Well, incomes unique and they are filling cups left and right. They truly are. And it's such a gift. And these words of affirmation are um, words of support from your teammates. It trickles down from the founders to the team leaders to everybody. Everybody feels it. Everybody wants to share it. And again, there's no room for anything else. It's rainbows and unicorns, people. You can't tell me that you drive by a rainbow and don't look and do a triple take and pull your car over and take a picture and share it on Facebook, oh, Instagram, whatever, right? 
Rainbows are beautiful. We need more of those. We need more love. We need more words of affirmation. Um, and you probably also have always wanted a unicorn, so admit it. Anyway, I hope that you share some words of affirmation today with your loved ones. And if this is your love language, I hear you. I get it. If it's not, more to come. There's four more. Thank you so much for listening, and I wish you all the love.